Good morning, children. Welcome to Tablet Talk Sunday School. And before we start, let us sing the first song. And what is the first song? This is the song that we sang last week. Do you remember this song? It's called Obedience. O B E D I E N C E. Remember this song? We're going to sing it once more. At the count of three. One, two, three. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Doing exactly what the Lord commands, doing it happily. Action is the key, do it immediately. Joy you will receive. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Obedience, obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. The second song that we'll be singing before the lesson is Trust and Obey. We're going to sing it twice. At the count of three, one, two, three. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Now let us look to God. Let us pray before we start our Sunday school. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you for this day this Lord's Day, that we can come to worship you on this day. We thank you for how you have gathered the children to listen to your word today. We pray, Father, that you will prepare their hearts to listen to your word and to obey your word in their lives. We pray, most importantly, that you will help them to come to know Jesus as their Lord and Saviour. We pray you go before us this time asking thee in Jesus name. Amen. The title of our lesson today is Obey God Immediately. Obey God Immediately. Children, let me ask you this. Okay, Auntie Demi is going to ask you this question. When daddy or mommy, they ask you to do something, right? Why is that something? Probably they ask you to keep your toys, pack your toys, right? You've been playing your toys and it's all over the room, all over the hall, all over the place. They ask you to keep your toys. Or for the older ones, the K1s and K2s, you have your spelling every week and your homework as well, right? Daddy mommy ask you to learn your spelling. Do your homework. When they ask you, to do your homework or to pack your room, to pack your toys the first time. Okay, they call you, pack your toys, huh? learn your spelling, learn your things here. Do your homework. Do you listen immediately when they ask you to do it the first time? Do you quickly do it? Ah, I want you to ask yourself. Or does daddy and mommy have to ask you to do it so many times, call you? Two times, three times, four times, five times. Pack your toy, pack your toy, pack your toy. Learn your spelling, learn your spelling, learn your spelling. Up to get, they get so angry after that. Ah, does it sound familiar? Or when Sunday school teacher, table talks teacher, or your teacher asks you to do your work. Ah, uh, what do you, what what do you do? You should do coloring, tracing, writing, right? When your teacher asks you. To do it the first time, you never listen. Did you have to call you so many times? Color your work. Don't look around. Don't disturb your friend. Mm. 
Do you remember all these times when you were like that? When you never listen? And when you are asked to do something, you never do it quickly. You never do it immediately. You never obey quickly. Remember? Today we're going to learn this lesson. Alright? And before that, I want you to look at this map, children. Okay, in this map, you see the word on your right side. You know where's your right side? Your right hand. You, we, most of us use our right hand, right? Right side, you see there's a dot there. And that's the word Nineveh. N-I-N-E-V-E-H. You see this word Nineveh with a red dot, right? The red dot on top of it. This is a city. All right, and the people who live there, the Bible says, were very wicked. They were very bad. They were sinful, the things that they did, right? God was not happy with them. But even though they were very wicked, sinful, God loved them still. God loved them even though they were wicked and sinful. And what does God want to do? God wants to save them. God wants them to stop doing all these bad and wicked things, to stop, stop sinning. And if they will stop sinning, if they will be sorry for their sins, they are sorry for how they sin against God, what will God do? God would save them. So what did God do? God loved them. So God sent this prophet to preach to them, to tell them, about God. So what is a prophet? A prophet is a man sent by God, right? Someone who believes in God, doing the work of God, doing God's work, and he's sent by God to tell the people about God, to tell them to be sorry for their sins. Stop sinning, stop doing wrong. Stop sinning against God and to come back to God. And who was this prophet that God sent? This prophet's name is Jonah, you see in the next slide. How do you spell Jonah? J-O-N-A-H. Jonah. God told Jonah. What did he tell Jonah? Get up and you go to this place called Nineveh, right? That's the place that we saw in the map. But, but means what? Oh, something's wrong, all right? Or things are not going to go the way it seems. Jonah did not like the Ninevites. He did not like them. And he did not want them to be safe. So what did Jonah do? Did he obey God? No. He ran away. He decided to run away. And he went to this place called Joppa. And over there, he found a boat. This boat, okay, last time that's how people travel. They don't have MRT, they don't have car, okay. Travel by boat as well if they want to go to, okay, one place to another, all right. So he found a boat that sailed to this place called Tashish. He wants to go to Tashish. So he paid the money, he went to the boat. Why did Jonah do all these things? He do all these things because he thought <coughs> that he can run away from God. He thought that when he go to this place called Tashish, God will not call him to go to Nineveh anymore. He thought he can escape from God. He don't have to listen to God anymore. He thought he can run away and to hide from God. But you know, children, when Jonah is doing this, he was not obeying God. He was not listening to God. And when he's doing all these things, right, he... He go to the boat and he's going to sail to this place called Tashish. You think God doesn't know? Of course God knows. And even if Jonah goes to Tashish, you think he can run away from God? No, God is everywhere. Wherever we go, God is there. We cannot run from God. And God knows. God knows everything. So don't think we can hide or we can run away from God. We can never do that. So we look at this map here, Jopa. Okay, this is where he was. Okay, and then he wanted to take the, the ship to Tashish, the opposite direction. God told him to go to Nineveh, right, which is on your right side. And then what happened? He wanted to go to the other side, Tashish. He 
don't want to listen. He thought he can run away from God. But children, you know that God is in control. We will see how God, God will make Jonah know that what he did is wrong. God have to teach Jonah that what he's doing is wrong. So what did God do? God sent a storm. What is a storm? You see in this picture here, all right, Sunny, there's a storm. A storm is where the winds are very strong in the sea and the waves also become so big. It can be very scary. It can turn a boat over. The boat is like so small in the sea only. So God sent the storm. And it was so strong, the storm, that the ship may even be broken because of it. All right? And what happened? Jonah then told the people in the ship that it was his fault that God sent the storm because of him. It was because of him that God sent the storm. So they, what did they do? They throw him into the sea. Why? Because Jonah said, you all throw me into the sea. Okay? So after they throw Jonah into the sea, what happened? You see, God loved Jonah. Even though, okay, Jonah did this didn't listen to God. Even though Jonah disobeyed God. John, God sent a big fish to swallow Jonah up. Right? When you think about it, it's actually not a punishment. Why? It was not to eat Jonah. Alright? But to swallow him up. Okay? If eat means he die already. Lah, okay? But to swallow him up. Swallow him up means he, right? he won't die. He'll be in the fish's belly, stomach. Alright? So to swallow him up. Why? Is to save Jonah so that he won't drown in the sea. Because he'll be in the middle of the sea and there's, you know, nowhere else. No, no, no place of rest. He'll be struggling in the sea. And what will happen? He'll be so tired from swimming, he may drown. So God sent the big fish to save him. You see how good God is. Alright? So Jonah was in the belly. The belly is the what? The tummy of the fish. Alright? Can you guess, children? Right? After God sent the fish to swallow Jonah, how long was Jonah in the tummy, the belly of the fish? Can you guess? I think let me give you three seconds to guess. One, two, three. He was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Okay? And do you know that when Jonah was in the belly of the fish, Jonah became sorry for what? He have done to God. He was sorry that he disobeyed God. He was disobedient. He didn't listen to God. Alright? And yet, God is so good to him. God did not punish him. And God saved him. God used this big fish to save him. So children, you see, right? It is up to God whether he want to save, save Jonah. God could have just left Jonah out in the sea like that and for him to drown. But God decided to save Jonah. And it is also the same with the Ninevites. God wants to save the Ninevites. So can Jonah say no? Jonah cannot say no. Because this is up to God. God is very merciful. God is very good. So do you think, children, that Jonah will now obey God? Or will he disobey God again like last time? Do you think, what do you think? Now, Jonah wants to obey God. He will go to Nineveh. Before that, he said, no, I don't want, right? I don't like them. Now, he wants to go to Nineveh to preach to the people there, to tell them about God. So, when he decided that, what did God do? God made the fish to spit Jonah out. Poik! into the dry land. And on the dry land, God's word came to Jonah the second time. Alright, and what was it? It was to speak to the Ninevites. And this time, Jonah quickly obeyed. Quickly again. Quickly now. Alright, before that, he did not quickly obey. But now he quickly, immediately, listened to God. He obeyed God. Jonah did not run away. Alright? So, children, 
You know when God tells us to do something, how many times does God have to say? Three times? Four times? No, you know, God only has to say it once. One time. And that one time that He says, we must quickly obey, quickly listen, quickly do. If we do not obey, God will punish us to teach us that we must obey because we are His children. He loves us. He wants us to learn. He wants us to stop doing that wrong thing. And if we do not obey God, we must quickly tell God, God, I'm sorry, and quickly obey Him. So, we're going to look at our memory verse again. Okay. Last week when we went through our memory verse, we went through the whole mem whole uh, verse. Alright. Today, we're going to just learn part of it. And then the next lesson, we will learn the other part of it. Okay. So, this is taken from Psalm 119 verse 60a. What does it say? I made haste and delayed not. One more time. Psalm 119 verse 60a. I made haste and delayed not. Remember what is the meaning of this verse? I made haste means what? Made haste means what? You quickly. Right? You quickly. Quickly do it. Immediately do it. And what's the meaning of delay not? That means you don't waste time. You don't waste time. Okay? So you quickly do something that you are told to and you don't waste time. You don't continue sitting there and doing other things or waiting. Alright? Say, oh yeah, later lah. One more minute, two more minutes. Or maybe... Uh, tomorrow then I do it. No, you quickly do it. Okay, so Auntie Tammy will give you one minute. We try, okay, to memorize this. Alright, and then we will learn the verse. We'll go through the verse together. Okay, let's try. Okay, we will read this verse three times. Okay, are we ready? Let's look at the verse again. One, two, three. I made haste and delayed not. Psalm 119 verse 68. One more time. I made haste and delayed not. Psalm 119 verse 68. One last time, I made haste and delayed not. Psalm 119 verse 68. Now let's look at this slide, okay? One word, okay? Most part of it is missing. Let's try, okay? Ready, go. I made haste and delayed not. Psalm 119 verse 68. Let's look at this other slide. Okay. Are you ready? Go. I made haste and delayed not. Psalm 119 verse 68. Very good. Now let's try the next slide. Are you ready? Go. I made haste and delayed not. Psalm 119 Verse 68. Are you ready for the next slide again? Ready, go. I made haste and delayed not. Psalm 119 verse 68. Very good. Let's continue. Next slide. I made haste and delayed not. Psalm 119 verse 68. See, now more words have been blanked out. Now this is the final slide. Let's try. I made haste and delayed not. Psalm 119 verse 68. Well done. 
Okay, I think Tammy hopes that you will go back, okay, in your own home, all right? Go through the verse and try to memorize this part of the verse, all right? Before we end, let us sing this song once again, Obedience, all right? At the count of three, one, two, three. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Doing exactly what the Lord commands, doing it happily. Action is the key, do it immediately. Joy you will receive. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Obedience. E D I E N C E. Obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Okay, let us look to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we truly want to thank you for this lesson that we can have this Lord's Day. We thank you for all the children who have gathered to listen to your word today. We pray, Father, that your word will speak to them, that you will help them to obey thee and your word. Help them, Father, to obey your word immediately and not to delay. For we know, Lord, that immediate obedience is what pleases thee. We pray that you keep the children safe throughout the week, and most importantly, that you keep them very close to thee. We pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen.